Good morning. Good morning, friends. Good morning, fans of the channel. It is Sunday, February the 20th, 2022. And the sun is coming up. It's uh, right at 6 o'clock. It is 6 o'clock a.m. on Sunday, February the 20th, 2022. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this scene right outside my door. Thank you, Father. Good morning. This is Sunday, February the 20th, 2022. And um, I had a conversation yesterday with somebody um, regarding translations of the Bible. Now, my preference is the New King James. That's my preference. And this gentleman's preference was the King James, or is the King James, rather. I was raised on the King James Bible. Um, this is my dad's Bible that he got in 19... Oh, man! Look at that! February the 18th! If I had just seen this two days ago, um, man, if I, this is February the 20th. If I had just seen this two days ago, I could have made a video just about that. That this was my dad's Bible that was given to him by my mother on February the 18th, 1977. I was born in 1978. This is like a year and a half before I was born. And in his Bible, which is a well used my dad had my dad had many Bibles. Um, but this was his favorite Bible. He put this picture. Um, he I don't know what this sixteen seventy two is. I don't I don't know what that is. Um I have no idea what that is. But anyway, he found this picture. And at the time, I wasn't born yet at the time. So, my mom and dad had one girl and one boy, Peter and Anna. And he found this picture. And he put it in his Bible. Because uh, he said that it was a good representation of my mom, my dad, and Anna and Peter um, reading the Bible. That was just a... Uh, course later on uh, my sister faith and i were born but he had that and he put this in his bible and my dad loved the king james he had he had lots of different versions um but when my dad died when my dad died i asked my mom if i could have his copy of, of the king james and i because i have memories of my dad um reading this very Bible. This is my dad's handwriting. This is so precious. This is my dad's handwriting. I get chill bumps when I think about this. This is my, my I have memories of my dad reading this Bible. Um, those are some notes on that he took. I, to me, this is priceless. My dad's handwriting. He's been gone for seven and a half years now. And I just, this is the Bible that I remember him reading um in the mornings when i'm i would see i would catch him reading and this is what he put on his bible and he wrote this father i go forth today with your life of love and sacrifice for others emanating from me i know your grace is sufficient for all that i may encounter today this i believe to be the christian life regardless of how i feel or what others may say or think. Where I go, what I do, or what I say is you today. And perchance if I act independently of your life, I know that you will use that momentary slip for your purpose. As you have used every other past negative in man's eyes as a display of your nature, even as the taking of your son's life. Today I go forth as you to a world that needs your life. I'm thankful to know that there are those who have who have your eyes and will recognize me as you. My prayer is that you will open many other eyes that they too may see you in me as you for them today. 
And so my father, his name's Arthur, my father wrote this. I, the only thing is I wish that he had dated this. I, I wish that he had dated this. But anyhow, this is the Bible that I remember him reading. Um, although he had many, he did have many different Bibles. He liked to look at a, a variety of um, translations. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, Father. That's an old picture of my dad. I forgot that was in there. Um, that was that was before 1985 because that was our house in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, that was uh, yeah, that was before 1985 because that was our kitchen in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Oh wow, that's when my dad graduated from Southeastern Bible College um, in 1975 from um, in Birmingham, Alabama. No, it doesn't say, but I know he graduated in 1975 because he graduated the year my brother was born in 1975 from Southeastern Bible College in Birmingham, Alabama. So there he is, young, clean shaved. Uh, anyway, I love my daddy. I miss my earthly father very, very, very much, but I praise Jesus that I would not have him back on this sinful world for anything, that my father is living for all his eternity. He is living his reward with King Jesus. And um, I know that I will, I know that I will see my earthly father again when I go see my heavenly father. And so I, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for Arthur Charles Bolt, who made such a huge difference in my life. My mom and dad, really raised me to love Jesus, and I am so thankful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And again, here is some more of my dad's handwriting. Thank you, Lord Jesus.